we've got a lot of great, great farmers, but we need, to, we need more farmers. And who's gonna take over from the farmers that are getting out of the business today? So one of the things that's come out of this is our Young Farmer Council. Well, Mike called me and asked if I would be interested. And, and it's nice getting to talk to guys from different areas to learn how they try to take care of their birds. You know, we're in the middle of a transition on the farm, and it's nice to go to other farmers that are my same age and have gone through the same thing, being like, hey, where did you find uh, things that were easy, things that you struggled with, things that we can improve on. Um, where did you succeed? Where did you fail? What could you do different? Our, our main concern is to grow the best chicken we can. You know, one of the subjects was going over the, uh, the placement sheets that we have. You know, when, after the birds go out, we get these sheets. You know, it's seven pages long with all these numbers and, you know, and they took a whole entire class to go over, you know, what those numbers mean. And seeing the numbers, you know, getting them back, it could definitely affect on how you do things in the future, you know. Can't begin to describe how nice it is to have somebody that you can rely on, on guidance with making decisions in the houses. They provide us with the best management techniques. So it was great to be able to talk to those guys, you know, talk to Purdue. Quite a few times where I run into a situation where it's just nice to have a sounding board to run an idea through to say, hey, look, I'm thinking about trying this. What are your thoughts on it? Try to take the necessary steps that Purdue's put in place um, to do the best job that I can. You know, Purdue trusts me with their with their chicks, and I, I take that very, uh, very personally. So I do the best that I can to uh, take care of them.